All right. Find Alice exit the hotel. Hello, friends. Welcome back. Barbara's not here anymore. She took the record we were looking for with her. We got this poem, which I guess must have been written by Thomas Zane. Uh, we're in the Ocean View Motel, but this is not the same Ocean View Motel that we became so fond of as Jesse Faden. And yeah, that's where we're going. We haven't even seen a janitor's room. So we can't like teleport back to Saga. What else? The, the visions we're getting are definitely out of order. Okay. Parliament Tower was here again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. The sources that I oh. had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon, to sort the clues based on my interpretation, to change that. Which I observe. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. Hmm. I think you're figuring it out. I don't think you actually exist. You were just written into the story. Oh, I can switch back to Saga if I wanted. Should we check and see what she's doing right about now? Okay, okay, I think I think we're gonna go check on Saga as much. I know that his apartment is like it's like right there. But we spent a long time with Alan, did another murder mystery. That was really cool. <laughs> Honestly, the like murder the the cult. An unforgettable immersive theater experience. Very cool, very cool. But we haven't seen Saga in a while, so let's go check on her. Last we left her, she was heading back to town to check with Casey. And maybe we'll see if Alan is still there with him, because it's a bit confusing. Hey, girl. It's like forever since I've seen you. Oh, right, we're still in Watery. Okay. Oh, can I open this door now? stage. Hello? Um, there we go. Got to remember my controls. Some goodies. Any notes? Any stuff from Ati? Is it a missing? Oh, it's a missing wiener dog. Okay, distractions. Is there already pet that Hi. there? Hi. You're still here, eh? Okay. Um, to the car. To watery, right. Or away from watery. It's quiet now. Feels like I've suddenly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud, huh? <laughs> I don't mind it. Did I look what at the story? Uh, Mayor Setta will stand up for justice. Okay. Okay. Gosh, what did we do? Oh, we did Coffee World. It has been a little bit. Oh, we've been up there, I think. Oh, strange. Yeah, we went up there. I couldn't figure out how to get in the lighthouse. But yeah, we did Coffee World. And there, the float, the Calavella Knights float was unsettling. Where's my car? There we go. Cauldron Lake or Bright Falls. Let's go to Bright Falls. Oh, we're freaking out about Logan. Because we saw that that um, newspaper clipping, right? Gosh, it feels like so long since I've been Saga. Oh, right, the lodge. Oh wait, no, this is where I'm Alan staying, right? Wake. Hmm. My name comes up. Your books come up. You come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Oh, shit. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. I 
think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <laughs> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work No, that I way. think you're someone else's. You can't make something out of nothing, even in a dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening, what will happen. Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. Bum, bum, bum. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! Holy... We thought Saga was walking into trouble. FBI! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck! Shit. Put the janitor's closet. Ah, team of protection. What are you doing? That happened while we were at the fucking amusement park. <laughs> oh. No chance. He claw his own face? Oh. Oh. My. God. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Good oh, God. It's here. What the hell happened? I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. It was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel what him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? Okay, I gotta get cultists. out of here. Okay, yeah, I know. I know. There is viscera all over that antler. And the, the head, the antler. The, I'm stunned. Talking is hard. I am covered in blood. Okay, does Scratch like possess Alan? Is he like, I that would make sense, I, I guess. And we saw that weird shadow when we were Alan earlier in the dark place, like the shadow on the wall and it kind of looked like something grabbed him by the head and and he's commented that it's gotten him many times before and Casey. it chips away at him. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Maybe. Maybe it's not chipping away at him. Maybe it's been slowly, like, putting pieces of Scratch in his head so that he will slowly become Scratch. I don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, uh, shaken. I can't leave. Jeez. Hello? We haven't been in here yet. Okay, 
Casey. Okay, there's my knife. Oops. Do you think they asked for backup, right? Do you think? Do you think we're gonna get Sarah Breaker? What did her? Oh no. I need to protect myself. <clears throat> yes. Give me the goods. Another but maybe, flashlight. maybe Sarah's gonna show up. Nostalgic. How nostalgic, right? So this is the first time we're playing Alan in the real world. Right, because we've been playing what we presume are flashbacks in the dark place. Right? Can I go this way? No. Oh my goodness. I'm coming, Casey. So in my notes here, I have it written something. What did I what have, have it written? That's Casey. I he was still alive. I'm just suspicious of Casey, and not because it's Casey, but because I wonder if Scratch wrote Casey into his story to mess with Alan. That's the note I have. Oh, Jesus! No ammo. What? Casey? Alan had two bullets? Holy, I looked away for a split freaking second. Casey, Casey, I'm coming. Oh, what's that? These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the dark presence not discriminate? Okay. Can we reload, please? I'm in the I'm in the light. You don't know I'm here. Okay, let's just leave him. He's fine. Casey? Oh my gosh! Just run, Alan. The pressure in my head was unbearable. Scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. I only have one bullet. I ain't got the stuff for this. Oh! Oh my gosh! Off. Scratch was further away. I can okay. think again. Casey. Casey, I'm coming. Oh, Jesus. Casey. Oh yeah, he's seeing through Scratch's eyes. Jeez. She's got the clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for She's him. my partner, damn it. Agent. I can speak. Go home. Careful, Lizzie Quick. They say he's a parent to military. No. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Jeez. That took such a wild turn. Okay. Tor and Odin were in the photo with the clicker. They might know how it works. Okay, we I'm got to play Alan for... Visit family. Th that's a good point. Okay. 
Hello? David? Logan? Hello? Saga! It's Tor, your grandfather. Hey! About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing! Oh, no! Fuck! Fuck you, you fucking hag! Oh, no. Barbara. Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Yeah. Okay, we can switch back to Alan, but we're not going to do that right now. <clears throat> the history of the Valhalla nursing home. We'll read that in a second. I guess we'll click save. What's in our shoebox? Nothing. We're going to have a crossbow. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. Let's check this place. Um, here we go. We're in return five. The old gods. The Valhalla Nursing Home. Founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame. In their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour. Flip flop to be their farewell tour. Cut short. Canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler has managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Barry! The demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Barry. I'm oh, I hope we get to see him. Okay. Valhalla nursing home. Oh, New board. I know something about the clicker. We'd wake out of reach. This is my best lead. What did Tor and Odin know about the clicker? Is Tor okay? I mean, didn't sound like it. What else do I have in here? Okay, cult of the tree. Gosh, we've done so much. So the cult, they tried to kill Alan and Ilmo said she doesn't understand. So they're trying to stop something. I guess they think that's happening. Probably hmm, scratch. Maybe they're just, like, I feel like they're not actually bad guys. The cult was stopping people that were coming out of the dark place. They had the clicker. So they were doing the same thing that Alan did to Barbara. She didn't have a heart already. That was, that was Thomas saying, but if they're cutting out their hearts and putting the clicker inside and then flicking it, it's to get rid of the dark presence. So the cult of the tree is not actually bad, but then there's ones that are clearly taken. So I think that that's just, that's just, those are like casualties. I think the dark presence is taking some of them, but like Elmo wasn't possessed. And neither were the people, it seemed like, that attacked Casey and Alan at the lodge. So I think they're actually more like trying to be good guys. Oh, how did I? Oh, I can access the map from over here? Holy. Wait, I can okay. do that? I don't have to walk. Okay. Um, and then, jeez. It's, it's a little confusing having or being able to play it in any order. But it must be just flashbacks that are happening with Alan. Oh, jeez. I don't have the ammo for you. I was literally just walking my dog and, oh jeez, where's the path? And two dogs came like running out of nowhere and kind of disturbed our walk. <laughs> this makes me think of that. Okay, just keep going. Oh, they do these Spooky forest so well. Whoa! <laughs> you keep Torn Odin claims to be family. No, Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. Well, if he was always partying drunk. Okay. The less I knew about him, the better. Valhalla Nursing Home. The Hall of Heroes. Ooh, I'm so excited. I need to talk to them more. I will not miss any vibe. I'm from a place that has houses like this. They, they're done in this style. I know this one, according to the story, was new, but 
It's weird. Coming from a small town, there's so many familiar parts that I'm seeing in this game. It's a little bit weird. Okay, um, is it the bigger building we want to go in? This place is all dark and spooky. Yep, I don't want to go in there anyway. Oh, Hello. Rose. Oh, Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... Rose. I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with hmm. Tor. He invited me over. Sorry, we had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. Uh-huh. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living <gasps> in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> right. Um, Rose, is this your office? It's gotta be. Ugh. Okay, there's a map. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Oh. You are strong, you are successful, and you are confident. Is it Rose leaving the lunch boxes around? you i think the whole town is in on this like they've probably been fighting the dark presence since alan disappeared oh she has a shrine to him what does that say naughty alan wake what it was these drawings i was wondering if you could help me longing internally we'll serve you pancakes you were my muse all along rose naughty alan oh she's doing fanfic oh boy be my light in the darkness, Rose. Interesting. Where is Alan Wake? The best-selling author known for his Alex Casey novels has been reported missing in the town of Bright Falls, Washington. Mr. Wake's wife, Alice Wake, has not given any comments on the case, but is confirmed to have been the one to report her husband's disappearance to the authorities. The mystery surrounding... The mysteries surrounding the novelist's disappearance don't stop there. Other individuals in the town were reported missing within a similar time frame. It is unclear whether these disappearances are connected. Wake's literary agent, Barry Wheeler, has indicated he has no information to provide, despite having been seen with Mr. Wake in Bright Falls just before the author's disappearance. The writer, Alan Wake, has a history of violence toward the press and is rumored to have struggled with addiction. The story will be updated as it unfolds. Oh, Alan. You have a lot of issues. This fanfic, though, like, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I love it not long after watching the game awards in 2023 and they did that live performance of the herald of darkness and i had just played that episode and i'm still listening to it on my spotify playlist so uh i'm still reeling from the whole whole thing the song is amazing i want more Oh. Mm. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Jacob? Oh. I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally. Puerto Rico. Try it today. In Puerto Rico. <laughs> I want one of those those thermoses so bad. Have we done enough? Have we snooped? Oh, nope. Haven't done enough. 
The Valhalla Nursing Home was established in 2014 by the Old Gods Foundation, originally built in 1965 but an un- by an unknown architect for the Finnish filmmaker Thomas Zane. This banner is steeped in artistic history. I met Odin and Tor Anderson in 2012 in a strange trip that resulted in strange new friendships. I was honored to manage their band as they made their comeback, touring the country and producing revolutionary new music. However, all good things must come to an end. Valhalla is a place of rest. In that spirit, I hope this building will serve as a place where people can spend their golden years in peace and comfort. May it be home to those who need one. Welcome to Valhalla, Barry Wheeler. Oh, I want to see him so bad. Oh, I hope that his entrance is grand and amazing. Oh, okay. I lost you. No, Here's I'm just our nosy. Listeners. Or, as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Our little Vikings. Norman, whoa. Oh, you're naked again. Norman, We've met. We have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Arty. <sighs> it's fine. It's another day in Valhalla. Yep. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Tori and Odin are here. <laughs> Need to find them. Okay, we gotta... Do you see them? Do you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's oh. always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Um. What That's are you needing? That's a fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. Boredom, probably. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled. When I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark <laughs> from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Vicious old lady. Inappropriate comments from an old man. I'm around old people a lot because of my job, and this is very on par. <laughs> was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! He would love that. Wham! Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Ma'am. You can't say stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, please. But I mean, still a very old lady. They say whatever they want. Nothing else? Okay. And you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Ati? You go pick a song from the jukebox. Yes, Put the lime in the coconut. I'm sorry about your chair. Thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. Ati? What are you gonna play? Am I gonna have to mute this section of the of the game? Kaati? <gasps> the Lady of the Light from the first one! Ah I think I know the words of this song. Um, nice to meet you. I wanna listen to the song. Oh, it's so good. Okay, nice to meet you, I'm Saga. Saga Anderson. Name won't make the band burst, even the Swedish name. I'm Arty. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard, <laughs> my pals, the Brinkele Vikings. Brinkele. I have no basic understanding of Swedish words. I could do Spanish or French, um, but not Swedish, so I have no idea what these references are. Um, oh, were you in the band? 
You had your own band. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach, but uh, we have shared a stage or two. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Okay, Ati. You're like a supernatural being in, like, in, in yourself. The oh. lazy man gets sweaty when he eats and chilly when he works. Set <laughs> free. You'll need the witch's cabin key. Find the lady of the light gone mad. Oh, wrong line. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the music. Okay. Uh, you said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> well, I didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm -hmm. It's useless. Huh. I need to stop the story. Okay. Nightman Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <sighs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh huh. I need to check Tor's room. <laughs> Look at him dance. I suspect of the wellness center. I can't go through there. Sorry, go. That area is for staff only. Okay. Upstairs I go then. Vince's bushes at the window. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, creepiness. I'm just going to be focusing on this game from now on. I, I beat Lies of P as I was playing at the same time. I am so glad I just have one game to play and focus all my energy on. Which way should we go? A thermos. Can I save you? Perfect. Shoebox. This is a safe place. Oh, another deer. On greener pastures now. Museum Hall of Fame. Oh, I don't have a key card. Oh, this one's open. Pat Main Radio Show. Valhalla Nursing Home Radio. Wait, Pat? There it is. <gasps> the government built a bunker here during World War II. I shouldn't to interrupt the ocean you. For Axis navies and who knows what. Pat Main! Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. There's a bunker. View motel and spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and their... <laughs> and their vapes. Cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes. The future is... <clears throat> Pat? So, the teens would drink there do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home. Well, but the sounds fun. has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesberg, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. The authorities okay. say they searched the bunker and they found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. Her folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, teens think the bunker is haunted. I Is that? Stop them from going there. 
police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. Now, as for myself, and huh. first journalist, a girl that drowned? I have lived here at the Is that my nursing home for five years. And in that time, I have never heard Norris singing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for finished tangos. <laughs> wow, Pat, you've gotten grumpy. Okay, so a, a girl did drown here. Maybe that's a truth that's being warped by the story to make it sound like it's our daughter. Like taking things that are that actually did happening happen and warping them to make the fiction come true. This is Tor's room. Oh my. It's a mess. More moonshine. Like seriously. <laughs> is this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Donna? Excuse me, miss. But the truth Hi. is, Barton went to your room while you were performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? No, I, I apologize. Uh, well, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. Sit down. I have to start over. It'll be good for you. Um, sorry. I'm just being snoopy. Odin. Odin's hey, in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or it's is me. More serious? That woman in the painting looks like mom. There's me. Was There's me. Or is this more of the story? Okay. Anything else I should touch? What medication did they hang for you? Oh, I can't go so fast to tell. The Sea of Night. To drink from the cup of the wise one, for wisdom to be a seer, I gave up my eye in the light of the moon to shine and see to many world, the many worlds to madness and beyond. Across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree, I gave up my eye so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before and will keep on meeting still. Where did I put the eye? Before time, I gave it to Mimir to drink from the Well of Wisdom, the cauldron. 1976, I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. 1988, he who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again, to be writ again. Well, that's ominous. Can you Odin? hear me, Odin? You didn't even take your boots off. Odin Addison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? Saga. Hi, it's me. He's in no shape to talk. Okay. Um, I think we have a few things. Odin Hangover? Hmm. What happened to him? We leave the RR twilight in you. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? I've never felt Whoa. this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Whoa. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? Whoa. Okay. So this is more than just a... A... I guess she's so good at this, so it's not just that she's creative in her thinking. She might have some sort of abilities. Okay, uh, our connection. Connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How 
is happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. <laughs> Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is this my place really dilated? Just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind plays even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. Oh my gosh, so many things. So she's got some sort of ability. Maybe inherited because her grandfather was like connected to the dark presence for a while. I found a photograph okay. of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting You're to right. see it too. You okay. say Tor is in so. danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The prince of fucking darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? He wants to take him and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. <coughs> we get to see Cynthia too? Saga. Does oh, I guess she must be here. Scratch? Like, as a resident. Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. He probably hurt himself to stop the darkness from taking him. I forgot about Cynthia Weaver, but we did just listen to the Lady of the Light song. She must be a resident here. I thought it wakes quicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. I have called him Tom a couple times. Okay, let me see. The clicker is an amplifier alone. It is not very useful. Art like Wake's writing. Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Cynthia Weaver. She must be so damaged from Cynthia. We're at Miss Weaver's care for now. As long as she doesn't enter into the outcome period. Is it water? Is that on fire? Did you see that? This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! There must be an overlap here somewhere. Cynthia Weaver. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Hold up. My fucking heart left into key. my throat. Pat, you're fine. Tor is in the wellness center, isn't he? No. He's... Well, yes. But you really shouldn't go in there right now. 
I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. Yeah. It's just, there's some things that, uh... Rose? <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Open, please. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That she is. is a walking red flag. Oh, that's the wellness center. She's the new. Whoa. She's the new lady of the light. After her experience. Oh, I still need that. After her experience with. Oh, where's Auntie? The first game. She'd be a little struck. Hello? Why so dark? Be ready, Saga. Okay. Map? Okay, book. Computer. Dispensary. Rehab. Dining hall. Kitchen. Office. Patient room. So he's probably here or here. But that's locked. Lights. Oh. Oh, I thought I saw someone back there. All right, let's heal a little bit. Tor? Let's heal more. It's Saga Anderson. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's reload. Tor? Manuscript page. Tor is bewitched. Okay, let's look around a little bit, then we'll read it. Oh, he must have been here. He's hurt pretty bad. But he tore off his bandages. Why? Tor was here. Doc, Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked it on, on floor by phone, burns on hand, and cut on head. Was out cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. VB. Let's check out... The case board. What do I got? Okay. The wellness center. Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Tor, Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That Weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song, a gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back, coming back. Tom would need help, too, if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. Okay, they keep referencing Tom. I'm, I mean, I'm starting to think... Did the whole first game happen because someone wrote it? Is that what's actually happening? Like, is Alan Wake a piece of the fiction that Tom wrote? You know, are those like wet footprints I'm hearing? Can't be. I just this game. Oh, there's so many little tidbits that are making me question what things I thought I knew. It's so good. Tor. 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 Tor wait. For me to touch. <gasps> oh, come on. Cynthia. Uh. Okay, so 
I need to keep looking around to find a key card because now I'm stuck in here. Dispensary. It's always a fun place to be. A little quick save action. 